Next news. Ex-Muslim atheist and human rights activist faces dangerous deportation to Tunisia in Denmark and Tunisia. Nasser Amari, an ex-Muslim and LGBT Tunisian human rights activist, uh, reportedly fled his home country of Tunisia in 2012 after receiving death threats from Islamists and temporarily resided in Romania. In 2019, Amari traveled to Denmark, where he subsequently applied for asylum. His case was rejected on appeal on the 17th of June, 2020, so very recently, after the Danish Refugee Appeals Board argued that his atheism and human rights-related activities will not cause him issues if he was deported to Tunisia. Having expressed overtly secular, secularist views and criticized Islamist parties in Tunisia, Amari is at risk at, of persecution if he were to be returned to his home country. Tunisian atheists, secularists, and free thinkers face considerable obstacles to exercising their rights of freedom of religion or belief, expression, and opinion, including the threat of being attacked by Tunisian Islamists because of their worldviews. Well, not not just Tunisian Islamists, his own family. From I talked to him, yes, and he said like his, there are his family members who are in the ISIS. Yeah, so we've been in contact with Nasser, and this is one of the opportunities that we have for our audience to really, this is an urgent call to action, honestly. Um, we really want to fight to make sure that Nasser isn't deported. This would be a big threat to his safety. And so if you look in the description of this video where we have all the news sources, um, the second news is ex-Muslim atheist human rights activist faces dangerous deportation. And right underneath that, there will be a petition. And I am calling on every person who is watching this video. I need you to go sign that petition, okay? If you can like this video, which I hope you also do, um, you can go sign this petition to make sure that, to help raise your voice and show that we are watching Nasser's case to make sure that he is not deported to where his life will be in danger. Um, yeah, we're hoping to bring him on our channel soon, as soon as possible, to um, help him share his story and to raise awareness about what he's facing, what atheists in Tunisia face, and why it's so important that Denmark does not um, dismiss his case as if there are not legitimate threats against his life. His family members are in ISIS, for God's sakes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Aaron is saying, can you link in the comments? The link is in the description. Um, it's right under the second news, which is this news that we're covering. Um, but if it's, you know, okay, anyways, the link to this um, is in the description. I also, I just want to uh, thank Susanna for this, because these are the things that I would have, you know, given the things that number of things that we're doing, this would have been something that I wouldn't notice. And this is something that Atheist Republic is supposed to be on top on. And ever since Susanna joined, um, our team, we are actually doing, you know, we're noticing, you know, Susanna is noticing and focusing on a lot of atheists uh, that are in trouble around the world and bringing more attention to their case and actually doing, not just covering it, but also just, uh, you know, coming up with a call to action that people could try to do something about it. And, you know, I know sometimes a lot of these petitions um, don't work, but they work often enough for it to be worth the shot, you know? Yes. Even if they work 5% of the time, that's a f that 5% is, you know, given that there is really no cost to you to sign a petition, um, that 5% is pretty good in, in my opinion, right? Like to, 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 there are a lot of, you know, if once you bring enough attention to something, there, ha there are plenty of stories to show that, you know, it had some uh, positive influence. So yeah, please do so that. Armin, in the comments, can you highlight it? In the YouTube comment section or chat, I posted the actual link. But if you go, I left a comment um, a little bit below of what you can actually Google. If you're not watching this on YouTube, please mm. Google Grant LGBTQ ex Muslim atheist Nasser Amari asylum in Denmark. Google that. You should find a change.org petition right away. And please um, sign that petition because. Okay. Uh, this, it's Two important questions. that we rally around people, and I get sometimes frustrated that um, we as an atheist community kind of 
rightfully complain about the persecution we face, but don't always rally together to protect each other as a community, the same way that other more supposedly bonded communities, religious communities will rally around each other. We need to rally around each other with that same energy and that same passion. So follow through calling all apostates if you're apostate <laughs> if you're an apostate or if you are queer i'm expecting you to sign that petition because that's your brother right there who needs your help so sorry armin what were you gonna say okay so two things one about denmark and the other one about tunisia why is denmark like doing this why is like um what's what's wrong with them um why are they not letting this person stay uh, given that it's obvious that there's a threat and also what the hell is up with tunisia tunisia is supposed to be uh, isn't uh, the most democratic from among all the uh, islamic countries and uh, out there tunisia is supposed to be a role model for democracy tolerance so what the hell is up with that that an ex-muslim atheist cannot live in peace in tunisia so obviously this is all on a relative scale, right? right? So relatively speaking, Tunisia's pretty good, right? But they still have blasphemy laws and they still have major restrictions on what is supposedly acceptable or non-offensive enough to say, right? And then they also deal with certain Islamist factions within their country and their communities. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a threat based on um, the blasphemy laws and then there's also just an intercommunity threat right there's, there's also like uh homosexuality is criminalized in tunisia and mm -hmm. uh sra is uh, mr is bisexual so there's also he has also received threats from his family members and other people about being killed and everything yeah so there's um also the threat of just not being straight, you know, more from a more homophobic lens. And in terms of your question of Denmark, now I'm no expert on Denmark. I'm going to tell you that right now, and I'm going to be honest to our audience. But I did get this one comment on my Twitter that um, I don't know how true this is, but I thought this was interesting feedback, so I'll share it. So when I shared this petition on Twitter, someone replied, okay, here's the issue, and this is why you need to find a new place for this guy. He hates Islam and, and is speaking out against it all the time. You have to find a place where his anti-Islam views will be tolerated and give him an asylum. I would say U.S., but even here, that's frowned upon. Obviously not as much. And they continued. My point is, is that Denmark isn't going to want to keep him when there are already many who are getting pushed back from the Muslim population. And they provided um, an article that said that 76% of Muslims in Denmark want to ban criticism of Islam. So yeah. I mean, I, I'm that's no that... expert on Denmark, but it seems mm. like one thing we talk about often is kind of this contention within liberal tolerant societies you know where they want to be accepting of their immigrant population um but fall into certain traps of being accepting of the wrong beliefs under the well-intentioned um belief that they are trying to be inclusive and non-racist etc um I, my interpretation of this could be wrong but this yeah. is kind of what i've understood about some of the feedback i've gotten back and if you think i'm wrong please tell me so i have my twitter at skeptic susanna below i'm trying to learn a lot more about this so let me know yes yeah. anyways we should i mean i have a lot of opinions in this but we need to go to the next news wait can i hear your opinions though well okay so i mean i don't think that it really matters if you are as long as you're safe I don't, know, I don't care about if you're living in a country where people are not tall. I mean, I do care about it, but it's not a big deal. Like, oh, people in Denmark are not going to be tolerant of your anti-Islam views. Yeah. Well, I mean, join the freaking club, right? <laughs> that's, that's the rest of us as well. Um, but, the, you know, the, the only thing that should be a priority right now is whether you're safe. I mean, yeah. is yeah, you know, whether you're like, is your life in danger? Like, I don't think anybody else should also be like, oh, people, like, I live in this country and it's Islamic, but I'm, nobody's going to kill me. But I don't like that I can't, I'm not free to. Yeah, I mean, maybe like we need to focus on people who are actually at risk. I mean, not to be, there are other, when it comes to asylum seeking, right? Um, other people who are not happy where, where they are, they could go through immigration 
um, you know, and you know, work visa, student visa, something like that. But the asylum, you know, the refugee pathway should be left alone for people that are in immediate danger. Okay, Certainly. so that's what I'm. All right. So maybe the, and maybe it's, Nasser yeah, certainly fits that profile. And right. that feedback that I got was not from anyone associated with him. These are from some random Danish people on Twitter. <laughs> right. So this right. isn't his argument. That's just random feedback about how they think that their society wouldn't tolerate that criticism as much. That's not what's important. What's a matter is someone's physical safety. Right. Mm. Oh, by the hey, way, Michael, Michael Sherlock, shouts out to Michael. I could not be doing what I'm doing right now for this case without him. Him and me and Michael, Michael are working really hard on this. So yeah, I'm really glad that you you, you know you're working with uh, AAI on this because we need to collaborate more. And I don't know if I have enough uh, hours in the day to do that. So I mean, I, this is something that Susanna is very passionate about. So I'm really glad that you guys are talking. Um, it's amazing. All right, so. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos.